shirt. This shirt is not a fashion choice. This is a work shirt, just in case you want to. I have better style. Okay, wait. No. No. Here I am doing the author tube newbie tag today. I was tagged by Natalia Lee. I will link her channel down below. You should definitely go check her out. So let's get on into the questions. How did you find out about AuthorTube? Um, I don't remember. My first AuthorTube person that I watched was Shaylin Wrights. I first saw her videos. I'm pretty sure I saw it. It was just on the suggestion list and I just clicked on it and I liked her videos. So I subscribed and it just led from there. What genres do you write in? I write in every genre ever. I've never liked being secluded to a genre. I don't feel like I should be confined to one genre and if I don't stop talking about it I will go into a rant about being confined to genres. If you heard a crash that's because my niece is playing. The only genres that I don't write in is basically erotica because I just don't like erotica and nonfiction because I don't feel comfortable enough to write about my own life or anyone else's life. What is your preferred writing tens point of view point of view or category of story? I like writing in third person. I have a problem with like only writing from one person's point of view. I will start a book and I'll be like, okay, this character, this is just this character and then I'll like start writing it and it will turn into being like multiple point of view. And there's my phone. And so usually I like to write in third person just because it's easier for me to switch from point of view to point of view in like my weird brain from third per in third person it is first person. But I will write in first person. I'm writing a first draft of a book right now and it's in first person and it goes from three different point of view. I really get annoyed with second person to be honest. Like I'm pretty sure I'm not very well educated in it but I'm pretty sure I second person is the one where it's like you did this like the person who's reading is the main character and that annoys me like it creeps me out to no end are you a plotter a panster or a planster i'm kind of a mix between a plotter and a planster i will plot everything out with an outline be like i will follow it i'll add things mm -hmm. and then i'll delete them it's kind of like the planster i guess but the plot's usually the same are you self-published traditionally published or yet to be published i am yet to be published what publishing company, literary agent, and or printing company are you represented by or use? If you're not yet published, what is your dream publishing house and or literary agent? I don't really have like a dream publishing house. If I get in a publishing house, um, maybe HarperCollins or Penguin Random House, but I don't have a set one where I'm like, I just want to be published by this one. Like, I would be happy with anything, really. I just want my book out there for people to read one day. Um, I haven't done enough research on literary agents to think of one that I would love to have. Um, again, I would just be happy to have somebody represent my book and want to represent my book. What author tube related videos can we expect to find on your channel? This channel's not just going to be writing. Um, it's going to be a lot of different things. It's going to be definitely a booktube channel as well. There will be a wide variety of videos and I'll keep you posted as I figure things out. When did you start writing? Here's a funny story. I actually hated writing and reading my whole life until I was up to like 12. Um, I couldn't read until I was 11. Um, writing was still really hard for me. I started writing when I was around 12 and I didn't actually finish a book until I was 13 or 14. I started writing like my first book, The Powers, back when I was 11. I started thinking about it and I wrote like half of it on my iPad and then I got my computer and I rewrote everything. Back then I was horrible at grammar, right? I didn't know how to, how to spell, I didn't know grammar, I didn't know anything. It was just me wanting to tell a story because I've always wanted to tell a story and that story's been in my head for a very long time. So like a funny thing that I like to say is I'm pretty sure that 100 thousand word novel is all one sentence. What was the first story you ever wrote? I just kind of answered that. The Powers. It was a very quick superhero story. Like I kind of stole it from The Darkest Minds by Alexander Bracken. I'm still proud of it because I was like the first novel I ever wrote. What authors have inspired your writing the most? I would probably say Cassandra Clare, Sarah J Maas, Rick Riordan was a big one for me when I was younger. 
Mm, I know there's more, but like I can't think of it in the minute moment. But those are the big three. So you schedule your writing sessions or simply get to writing whenever you find the time. So basically, I used to not schedule my writing. Now I do because I got a job not too long ago and I work in the mornings. And so now I kind of have to schedule school and writing. I try to write a thousand words a day, but that doesn't always work out because sometimes I'm just completely exhausted after school and work and writing. Do you type on a computer, typewriter, write everything out by hand, or use a blend of those? Where do you write in general? Again, if you hear the noise, it's my niece and my grandfather. I don't own a typewriter and I have very shitty handwriting. I can't even read my own handwriting, so I know you wouldn't be able to read it, so I don't write everything out by hand. I write on my computer. My computer basically takes everything. What are you most looking forward to now that you are a part of author to community? There are so many people and great amazing people that I have been talking to. It's really nice for us to be able to sit and talk to each other and support each other because you're really kind of in your own little hole and you don't talk to people. So it's really nice to talk to people who are kind of in the same situation and I think it's really important to be able to talk to people who are doing the same thing you are and have the same aspirations as you do. They're all a question. I will see you guys next week. I'm hoping next week with another video. So I will see you then and goodbye. I'm gonna start the spaghetti here soon. Okay. That was my mom. Any other any other I I'm going to answer her because she wants to shut up. And my computer shut off again too. I could shut off when you're recording. That's weird. It was bad and my computer shut off again. And I feel like this is going to be an ongoing thing for school and then I schedule.